Hey everyone, Philippa here with PSP North Bay. Uh, today I'm going to lead you guys through something called a moon salute. So moon salutes are a section that you might do in a yoga practice, similar to what a sun salute might feel like. If people uh, know what Surya Namaskara or sun salute, if you've heard that phrase before, then you know it's a standardized sequence of movements that we just repeat and build energy and build heat in our bodies when we do practices. So a moon salute is kind of the opposite of that. It's more about a meditative process, more about settling our energy down to a level that we're comfortable at. So this might be something if you're really high strung or you're having a very anxious day, a moon salute would actually help bring your energy levels back down, even though you're doing a physical practice, if you can imagine. Um, as always, please do check with your doctor if you are starting out a new exercise routine. Uh, we also have links, I'm sure you saw the clip at the start of this video, or as well in the post um, body of our post, there's gonna be links in there that you should follow just in case you're not sure about if you should start an exercise routine. Um, as always, please leave comments, questions, if you wanna see more of this stuff, just let us know and we're happy to produce it for you. Okay, we'll see you soon. Have fun on the mat. And as always, just keep smiling. You'll get there, I promise. Arms down by our side, shoulders being pulled down towards opposite hips, chest is lifted. We're just breathing deeply into our lungs here. On the next inhale, take the hands to heart center. Inhale, arms towards the sky above the head, interlocking those fingers. Inhale, tall. Good. Exhale, lean back slightly here, keeping that core tight. Inhale, back up tall. Exhale, over towards the left side. Good. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, towards the right side. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, let's step our right leg nice and wide and long back, and we're coming into a sumo goddess pose. So I'm holding this nice position, or if you want to, you can add a little bit of movement. So inhaling up and exhaling, sinking down nice and low. The movement is gonna add a little bit more heat, so if you're looking to keep it cool, just keep it on this, holding the position, and if you wanna add some heat, just moving along with every breath. On the next inhale, bring the arms up to the shoulder lines, extend through the leg. We're gonna roll the shoulders down our back, hands come to hip line, and we're gonna hinge forward into a wide leg forward fold expression finding a place along the legs or on the floor to keep that back straight as we open into this position. Exhaling down. You notice I'm inhaling and lifting and then exhale, I'll sink down towards the ground. If you want to, you can take on a little challenge pose here. So you can either take your teddy bear pose or your show, uh, headstand position. So if you would like to take teddy bear pose, you're drawing your head down towards the ground. Whenever you're ready, I take a few attempts at this one. So exhaling, head comes down towards the ground, elbows are bent, inhaling, el knees come on top of those elbows, and the core is really fired up here, embracing my core. If you want to, you can take a little bit more of an expression, extending one or both legs towards the ceiling. I did one leg on this side, I wasn't feeling that two legs. My dismount wasn't as graceful as I hoped for. So we're coming back into that nice wide leg forward fold position here, just to realign ourselves. Inhaling our bodies up tall. We're gonna turn the left toes towards the front of our mat, arms out to the shoulder line and hinge into that nice triangle pose, the Chukhanasana. We're breathing through here and a beautiful hip opening in this position. Just letting our body settle down. We're gonna inhale, bringing our body back upright. We're gonna turn the hips towards the front of our mat, lifting our back heel, bringing our hands down to the mat, surrounding our front foot. Letting our hips sink low here, beautiful hip opener. Dropping our back knee down to the ground. Our left elbow comes on top of that left front knee and our right arm reaches up towards the sky here. Beautiful hip opening. You can feel this through the psoas and your hip flexors. You might feel this in the back if you are really tight, so just hold it as long as you want to hold it for. Whenever you're ready, we're coming into a mini twist. So I'm just opening through my shoulder blade, drawing my left hand behind my back, just letting those hips sink down. Inhale, bring our body back to the front. We're coming into a pose I call the Russian Dancer. So for this one, I'm just coming over to one heel. So all my body weight's on my bent leg side. The goal is to try and get the heels down to the ground. So if you're already there, wonderful. You're trying to bring your body a little bit higher. If you're where I am, you can try doing a little bit of an expression. So I'm just reaching my right arm towards the sky here, letting my left elbow press into that bottom knee. 
inhaling let's bring ourselves back to center we're coming into a really narrow goddess pose here so hip feet are about hip width apart we're sinking down elbows press the inside of the knees and coming into a namaste pose for the hands that's optional but it is recommended now if you do have really tight shoulders just wrapping those arms behind you so my arms are still on the front side of those legs but by just adding this little movement in here I can feel a gentle stretch in my shoulder completely optional uh, you don't have to do that you can keep it into that nice namaste pose as I'm showing you here or do the arms behind the legs whatever you prefer Whenever you're ready, we're going to lean our body weight over towards that right leg, extending the left leg out beside us, coming into that Russian dancer pose once more. So we're trying again to get those heels down to the ground. We're trying to lift the chest here, although I feel like I'm a little tight today. And if we want to, we can take that single arm expression towards the ceiling here. So that left arm is reaching towards the sky, right arm stays down on the ground if you wanted to try that expression. This pose can actually get you into a bind pose. We're not doing that today though. So we're gonna turn both hips towards the front of our mat. We're gonna drop our back knee down. So that left knee is down, our left arm is reached towards the sky and our right arm is just comfortably resting on top of that right leg. Again, we're getting that nice psoas, hip flexor, a little bit of the lower back. We're gonna feel this through the quad if you're really tight. Exhaling, bring that hand down. We're coming into that gentle twist. So we're just opening through the collarbones here. You can see that arm just reaches behind the back just to help encourage that gentle opening through the collarbone. Yeah. And salutes are all about keeping it cool and calm. Let's bring our hands beside that front leg. We're gonna lift and drop our back heel down. We're gonna cartwheel those arms up. We're coming into that triangle pose again. So we tilt the body forward, find that sweet spot for our stretch and express ourselves in Trikonasana. Just breathing through this one. Beautiful. On the next inhale, we're gonna pull ourselves back up to center, turn all 10 toes towards the front of our mat and hinge forward into that nice wide leg forward fold that we're so familiar with from the last time. Now, if you want to, you can still do your teddy bear pose. You can hold the forward fold or if you want to, you can take a nice headstand here. I think on this side, I do take the headstand. So if you are taking the headstand, you can try and get into it the same way I am, which is a little bit more of an easier way. So I bring both feet behind me, come down into all fours. I take my head down to the mat and I come into like a headstand downward dog. From there, I use my core muscles to lift my legs towards the ceiling wherever I'm comfortable into that headstand expression. So my core is really the one doing a lot of this work here. It's not my spine, it's just that fired up core. On the next exhale, slowly lowering down and you'll get to a point where the legs just drop as mine do and that's okay. The goal is to, of course, prevent that as much as possible. Whenever you're ready, finding yourself back into that wide leg forward fold. Again, just breathing here. It's a really nice stretch. It's really good for our back to create that space in our, in our hips. We're gonna inhale, lift ourselves back up. We get a little diva, Eva, little cameo there. Just wanted to say hi. Coming down into our nice sumo goddess pose. So you can hold this pose, or if you wanted to still build that heat, inhaling, extending through the arms and legs, exhaling, sinking nice and low, wherever you're comfortable going with this one. Nice and strong. We're gonna inhale, bring our feet back together towards the front of our mat. Inhale, both arms towards the top, uh, interlocking those fingers, exhaling, leaning back. Beautiful, inhale back to center, exhale over towards that left side. Inhale back to center, exhale over towards the right side. Inhale back to center, exhale. We're gonna do a nice big forward dive here and we're gonna hang out and ragdoll. So bend through those knees, open those feet about hip width, interlock the elbows, just letting that body round here. Every exhale, just picturing that body getting a little bit more rounded towards the ground, maybe feeling that head being drawn towards the knees. Beautiful, just letting your body rest here. You've done a really good practice today. Those moon salutes, they can be challenging, but take it, hold the positions as long as you'd like to. On the next exhale, release those arms, slowly roll that body upright to head standing, hands come back to heart center. 
Ah, taking a nice deep breath in there. You've done a wonderful practice today. Not the easiest one, but I guarantee you, I'm sure you tried as best as you could. You did great. Good job.